Today is Monday, and I'm guessing that today is like my official week one weigh-in or something, but since I never actually put up my first video and I had a pretty crappy week, we're just gonna void, you know, and start off now. I did weigh myself last week, and I don't know when I weighed myself, but, I, you know, I just woke up <laughs> and I weighed myself, so I have, I have a starting weight. <laughs> last week when I weighed myself, I don't know when that was, so I can't say for sure, like, if it, if, if I did lose five pounds. I certainly didn't eat to lose five pounds. I mean, I, I had a pretty terrible week, but we're gonna start off again. Reacquaint myself with everything. Mm. So last week when I weighed myself, I was um, 230, 230 pounds. Today, one week later, 225. Now. I'm not going to say I lost five pounds. I'm going to say that despite a week of weirdness and depression and just like, I don't know what was going on last week. Despite all of that, something happened. So we're just going to say that. <laughs> I think I was wavering around the 225 anyway. Whatever. But we're going to start off now. That's when I'm going to start off. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm still going to upload all of my video from last week where I'm just sort of like going through whatever. Because I think it's, it's worth something. Because I was in such a dark place, I think it's worth something. I mean, it might be beneficial to somebody. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use the video that I tried to use last week to introduce myself. I think I'm just going to really quickly, like, go over it now. Um, my name is Lindsay. Online, I'm known as Nini Pie or Hey, I Knows You. Whatever. I'm 22. I live in Chicago right now. I used to live in St. Louis. Um, I've been up here for about two years. <laughs> I'm turning 23 in a couple weeks. Which means I have to get a new driver's license. <laughs> Which means I have to get a new driver's license and I'm not very excited about that. Because I don't know if I should get... I don't know. I go to the Illinois Institute of Art in Schaumburg. And I study digital filmmaking and video production. And I'd like to be some sort of editor or I don't know I I like some pre-production and I like post-production I'm not a big fan of production so we'll see where that gets me um I guess the way that I'm going to start off trying to lose some weight is um just calorie counting I'm going to count my calories and see where I'm at see um, what my habits are. I'm going to try to eat a lot of raw foods and eventually I'd like to work myself up to be kind of high raw but at this point I'm not going to force it on myself because I don't want to be disappointed if I can't do it. If I can't fall through. Last Monday when I started counting my calories I ate just over a thousand calories for that day and I mean I ate all day but I was eating all raw foods and that really made me understand like where that leaves me calorie wise I, I suppose I would lose weight on that but that's that's really underestimating everything the rest of the week I was way over in calories um 
I guess to offset my undereating on Monday, Tuesday, I just sort of way over ate, and it sent me into a, a depression spiral, which <laughs> I didn't get out of until on Friday. My biggest problem that I have is um, I binge, and I emotionally eat. And I've gotten better about emotionally eating, but I still don't realize when I'm binging. Um, because recently, last week, I made a bunch of pancakes and a bunch of French toast on different days, and I would make a lot, and I would just eat as much as I could fill in my stomach, and I consider that binging. So, I still don't have quite the, the amount of control that I'd like to have <laughs> over binging. I mean, I don't go out and buy, like, boxes of Little Debbie snacks and eat them all in one sitting anymore. And that's a good thing. <laughs> but I just need to learn how to control my portions when I'm making food. I generally have control, but on pancakes and French toast, I don't think I do. So... My fitness goals, my fitness and health goals. Right now I fit into, I suppose an 18 in pants. And I like to get down to maybe a 12. Um, sometimes I still wear 20s. Um, 20 is the highest that I've been. I'd like to lose 25 pounds and be 200. Initially, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna set small goals. We're gonna we're gonna go at this one step at a time. <laughs> so my first goal is to be 200 pounds, or you know, 199, whatever. To be in Wonderland would be amazing. I haven't been in Wonderland since. Oh Lord, I don't know. Um. But my final goal, I think I'd like to be somewhere in the 140s. I'm five five. So. That's fairly healthy. I think anything, maybe the 130s would be pretty thin for me. Really thin. And I, I don't know that I'd like that. And I don't know that my body would be able to handle that. I've always been sort of stockier and sturdier than other people, other kids my age when I was growing up. The highest weight, apparently, I don't remember this, but I was reviewing something that I'd recorded a long time ago about six months ago, and um, I had said that I was 240, and I don't know that I actually weighed myself when I was at my heaviest. I think I was afraid. But I lost some weight, and then I weighed myself, and I was 230. And then I lost some weight. I did the raw thing, and I was exercising, and I felt great, and things were going fantastic with that, and then summer came. <laughs> And I, um, I took a long vacation. When packing up my car, I forgot my exercise stuff. And I continued the raw thing for a while, but I didn't really have enough money to continue doing it while I was on vacation. So, I kind of... I didn't really crash and burn. I mean, I still did okay, but... I've been in depression spirals since then. It's Monday, and I'm going to have a great week. I'm going to make myself have a great week. I'm not going to fall into depression spiral, and I'm just going to do it.